final sector as uh, we switch back to the uh, battles uh, further down the other day. Well, they've switched at just the right time there, making a lunge down the inside. I think that might have been of Alitama, and both of them have gone down and into the gravel trap. And uh, Deo looks, uh, uh, and, sorry, Alitama looks none too pleased with Deo there after that ambitious move down the inside. Another incident at turn 10. Yeah, and for Alitama, that was out of sixth position and uh, on course. Resa Tuidemi Asia Talent Cup diwarnai oleh crashnya rider Indonesia Fadilah Arbi Aditama usai bentrok dengan rider Indonesia lainnya Azrian Deo. Kedua rider sebelumnya terpantau berduel sengit dalam perebutan posisi ke-6 dan posisi 7. Di lap ke-13 memasuki salah satu tikungan sirkuit Mandalika saat Aditama mencoba menyalip Deo dari sisi luar, namun racing line keduanya bertemu dan menyebabkan kedua rider tersebut terjadi kontak dan keduanya terjatuh. Padahal balapan saat itu tinggal menyisakan tiga putara. Usai terjatuh, kedua rider tersebut tidak dapat melanjutkan balapan dan terlihat potret kedua rider tersebut saling bertanya-tanya. Aditama tersorot emosi dan terlihat kesal dengan teman sekaligus rivalnya tersebut. Deo terlihat sedikit melebar dan manuver Aditama sedikit terlalu dalam dan alhasil keduanya bersenggolan dan terpaksa harus gagal mencapai garis finish. Adapun res 1 IATC Mandalika Tayo Furusato sukses podium 1, Daniel Saril podium 2 dan Gunmi sukses amankan podium 3. Adapun pebalap Indonesia terbaik adalah mampu finish di posisi 5 dengan pebalapnya Raikat Yusuf Adila. Leaders for a Sato, four tenths of a second up. Press for a really good performance here in this whole round. See Carter Thompson, they make a move through the fast right handers at the end of the lap. And this will be for fourth position as Hakim Denish loses a place. Carter Thompson then through back into P4. These two have been swapping and changing. I suspect that if we'd been watching just that battle, we would have seen another hundred of those overtaking maneuvers. We're now on to the penultimate lap of the race for the uh, race. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, keep an eye in the background, and uh, you're going to see for Denish. Uh, just tries to be a little bit aggressive through that last corner trying to make sure he's able to close up on Carter Thompson to set up a move championship point Shereel then two tenths further down and uh, we've got a uh, fall and uh, is that Danish? yes it is it's Danish who's gone down in his fight with Carter Thompson last time over the line he was in front I think at one stage he's fought his way through onto the tail of Furusato Furusato still unbeaten in 2021 Daniel Shereel might be about to have a go at stopping that from being the scenario they make their way now in towards turn 10 this has been an action hotspot all race along it's been an asks a bit too much of his Honda machinery yes uh, now look at the lead that's a tenth of a second between them on this final lap Shereel has managed to find something a little bit special a little bit extra he was stuck down in sixth position a hotspot all race long as well for Asato there defending to the inside it's going to be single file through here turns 11 and 12 in towards the final sector Shereel chooses now down the inside into 12 catches for Asato by surprise opportunity for Furusato on the number 15 here to make a recovery in similar fashion as they come off 13 and 14. What about a lunge into turn 16, the slowest corner on the circuit. Daniel Shereel looking for his first race victory since his return to the Asia Tire Cup. He was last a winner in Thailand 2018. He's fighting for the lead here against Furusato, the championship leader who goes soaring around the outside bravely. Two turns to go. 16 and now 17. They come through the left-hander and it's Furusato who once again leads it is Tayo Furusato of Japan to make it five wins out of five and the inaugural race victory of the Mandalika International Circuit goes to Tayo Furusato the first time this season that he's been off pole position the first time he's ever been off pole position in the Asia Talent Cup Daniel Shereel did nothing wrong during the course of that race he holds the right line on the run into those right handers you saw him whenever he came across the line he had to look up to the skies and just think what do I have to do to win a race an aggressive one he needed to be as well through turn 12 I, I wasn't expecting really to see a move there but Sharila got close enough to try and strike and uh, got in front of uh, me and made a three tenths of a second advantage yeah, you can see there at a time there on the number three going down and uh, again like you said Alex another move into turn 10 it's easy to be a little bit ambitious on the right